Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Exposed, and on this episode, I have 10 different film YouTubers that you might not be following, but you definitely should be. So this is not a ranked list. I'm gonna go one through 10, but these are not rankings by any means, and this is also not a comprehensive list. There's tons of other people that I would love to share with you guys, but I wanted to cap it off at 10, so I'm gonna share these guys with you, and then I'm sure as more channels arrive and pop up on YouTube, and also some of the other channels that I get a little bit more familiar with going forward, I'll share those with you guys in the future. So number one, if you aren't following them already, is Matt Day. I would be very surprised if you aren't following him, um, but Matt has been in the YouTube game for quite a while now. He has tons of uh, just gear reviews. He has a bunch of just videos on creative process and why you should print your work and why you should photograph your, your loved ones and just all sorts of different things. Matt has been doing amazing things on YouTube for a very long time. He also has a podcast called The Shoot, if you haven't checked that out. Uh, we did an interview there uh, a couple months back, so you could go and look up Matt Day and Nick Mayo and uh, you'll find that podcast. But definitely subscribe to both of those, his channel and his podcast, if you haven't already. Number two is Andrew Sinsi. I don't know if I'm saying your last name right, buddy, but uh, Andrew is is a vlogger, so he's been doing like uh, weekly vlogs for the last couple of months. Uh, he'll do travel vlogs, and uh, he's also a film photographer, so he kind of melds those two together. So if you've ever wanted like vlogging on the film side, like Andrew's your guy, he's amazing. And his vlogs are always top notch, his music choice is always top notch, and they're always very engaging, easy to watch, and uh, I just love putting them on when I'm like scanning and doing different things like that. I just have them like running, not in the background, but on the other monitor, and it just like helps pass the time by. So thank you, Andrew, for that. Number three is Chris Swartwood. Uh, Chris started a, a channel, um, I don't know, maybe a month and a half, two months ago, called Grain TV. Uh, it started off in one way, and he shows how to develop film and all that, but he's quickly taken a turn over to 4x5 in large format, and has really kind of shared his entire experience of getting into large format, what it looks like for him. Uh, he just recently got into larger, so I'm sure there's some printing stuff coming up on the way. Um, but it's, it's fun watching his stuff because he's so laid back. He uh, is like very like I don't know I told him on one of his comments that he's like the Bob Ross of film photography just fun to watch and just has such a cool calm soothing voice and uh, and yeah he's he's constantly pushing out new stuff sharing just in vulnerability much like I like to do and uh, I've really enjoyed his channels so far number four is Max Heinrich I think again these last names they elude me I don't know uh, but Max is Max plus one portrait photography on YouTube he does behind the scenes for all of his portrait shoots it breaks down like this is why we chose this model this is why we pose the model this way this is why we chose the film this is why we chose the location this is why we chose to exp expose the film this way and like just the things that he goes into and the way that he breaks down his photo shoots is so inspiring his work is incredible he's one of the best portrait photographers that I've seen like on YouTube and on Instagram and his work is always inspiring me I have so much of it saved on my little save R on, uh, on Instagram and uh, it's just an amazing photographer and the amount of time, effort, and energy he puts into his videos is just, it's unmatched. I don't know, these are well, well produced stuff. He has large format, medium format, and 35 millimeter stuff. You should definitely go check it out. Number five is JP. JP is King, and then it's J-V-P-E-S on YouTube. I don't quite know how to say his screen name. Um, but anyways, JP does a lot of point of view and not just point of view, like he also brings other videographers in to kind of walk around with him and you get kind of an outside view of him shooting then you get to see the photos. It's just really cool, it's amazing. Uh, his street work is incredible and it's just so much fun to, to just watch him explore his town, watch him explore the different towns that he goes out to. Uh, and then he has some great uh, just commentary videos and different things like that. He's done some giveaways so far and uh, just hit 1.5 thousand subscribers on YouTube. So congrats, buddy. Uh, but I just, I love watching his stuff. Again, he chooses great music and just the, the it just works great when I'm scanning film. And it's like, I love having content like that to be able to put on in the background when I'm scanning through or touching up images and stuff like that. So thank you, JP. I really enjoy your channel. Number six is Sean Bresney. You guys might remember uh, about 
what was it, two mail times ago, Sean actually sent me a big box of cameras, one of which was the Instax Wide that I've been shooting quite a bit lately and have really enjoyed. Um, but Sean and I just recently connected and uh, I've been enjoying his videos. He puts out a lot of POV stuff too. Um, so you get to see him walking through the streets of Chicago and shooting street photography. He also does some different reviews, shares why he shoots film photography. Uh, he's shown his pack on scanning workflow. He just did a review on the new Instax square camera and uh, he's just putting out just constantly just better and better work and just his channel is constantly growing and evolving. And uh, he's just a fantastically generous generous guy in general so so much fun to talk to and don't only go over there and like like follow his channel go over there and actually reach out to him and, and just get to talk to him because he's just amazing number seven is garth murphy garth is probably one of the funniest guys i've met on instagram and youtube uh his channel is murphy's film uh garth just recently got started uh he has a few videos up but he does he does point of view videos all the time, which are just awesome. His his work is amazing. A lot of geometric shapes, a lot of um, light and shadow, a lot of the same kind of stuff that you see in my work. So if you like my work, go over and check out his channel because he's doing a lot of just amazing black and white stuff. He has some, uh, some color stuff coming up soon with the Lomo Purple Chrome, I think is what it's called. But um, definitely go over and check his stuff out. He's hilarious on his channel. The thing I love about Garth is he doesn't take life like too serious. And that's a good thing. Like uh, he's just so much fun. If he hits a snag in his process, he just kind of, it's water off a duck's back. He just kind of lets it go by the wayside and uh, just carries on with a big old smile. And uh, it's just an incredible, incredible guy that I've really enjoyed getting to know over the last couple of months. So definitely go check out his channel. It's, uh, it's constantly growing and it's constantly got me cracking up. Another new channel to the YouTubes is Hashem and Nick's Pushing Film. These guys do a lot of interviews, they do a lot of point of views, again, um, or travel vlogs is actually more what they do. And the thing I love about their vlogs is they actually go out, they'll vlog their photography, but when they run into other film shooters, they'll actually stop and give like five minutes of their video to interviewing that film shooter. Why did you get into film? Why are you shooting the things that you're shooting? That kind of stuff, and you get to kind of get to like know other photographers that are all over the world getting to shoot film and uh, they're doing interviews with different people they have an interview with Eric Kim and uh, they break down different cameras they break down like beginner cameras great ways to get into photography great ways to get into film photography and they're just constantly putting well thought out material uh, up onto the YouTubes and really just I don't know, offering great, great content to the film community. So I really appreciate what you guys are doing. You guys just hit a new milestone too with your uh, channel. So congrats on that. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing more videos from you guys. Number nine is Timothy Ditzler. Timothy's been on uh, YouTube for a little while longer than some of these other guys that I brought up, but um, Tim's been putting out videos. He has a bunch of different reviews. Uh, he's also recently gotten into 4x5 and uh, has a lot of 4x5 videos. He's doing a print project right now that he's showing a lot of behind the scenes stuff on and just really kind of shares his whole creative process. Walks through what it looks like for him in his uh, week of creativity and uh, just a lot of fun to watch him go through and just kind of break down some of his process and some of the inner workings when he's going through and making these photos. He goes out, you get to see him shoot, he kind of walks through, this is why I'm shooting this, this is why I'm developing this, and just another great channel with just solid content like across the board. So Tim, great job, keep it up. And then number 10 is Mike Padua. Uh, so Mike is the, you guys might know him as the owner and founder of Shoot Film Co. Uh, they got all the patches, the stickers, uh, the film notes, and uh, just a bunch of different things. What else do they got? He's selling zines over there. And Mike is just a, an incredible down to earth guy. I've gotten to chat with him back and forth a couple times. Uh, we're looking to do some sort of video Skype call to where we get to just talk as two creatives uh, with our product lines. And we're gonna kind of break down why it is we brought our product lines into uh, the film world in general. And I uh, really just look forward to getting to uh, connect with Mike in that way. But he also has a YouTube channel and uh, he constantly either one, introduces new products uh, from Shoot Film Co, which is awesome. 
uh, like glow in the dark stickers and stuff like that, glow in the dark patches, like incredible stuff. And he, he like brings all that out. Um, but then too, he also does a lot of uh, product reviews, film reviews. Uh, he shares a lot of his like thrift store finds and different things like that. So definitely want to go over there and check that out. He shows you how he goes through and finds different cameras at thrift stores and stuff like that. So uh, another great, great photographer, but also a great uh, contributor to the film community that uh, is just giving back more than he's really taking from the community. So you guys should definitely go check him out. That's all 10 right there. Check out every single one of those. I would be like, I'd be so bummed out if you guys didn't go and subscribe to each one of these guys right now. Like pause this video, go down, click on all the links and just subscribe. Subscribe to each one of them. Your, your week is going to be like just awesome because your, uh, your YouTube channel is going to be just filled with all sorts of film goodness. So I just wanted to like, I just want to share these guys with you. I've been really enjoying watching their channels. I've been really enjoying just building connections with these guys. And uh, I just really wanted to, to just put these out there. And if you aren't following them to introduce you to them, uh, I really encourage you to reach out to a bunch of them and just make connections. They're all very laid back, very approachable and uh, just a lot of fun to talk to uh, outside of YouTube, also in Instagram and stuff like that. So follow all of their work. I'll also, I'll link to their, um, YouTube, but then underneath their link to YouTube, I'll also link to their Instagram, so that way you can follow them on both veins and uh, just watch the whole thing go on. So I'm gonna stop talking because I want this video to be uh, shorter and I lost track of how long it's gonna be. So, but thank you guys for watching this. If you find this valuable, please uh, share it with some friends, share it with some other film friends who you think will also find value in these different channels. So. Uh, thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe down below. Leave your comments to what channels you like to follow. I, I, I want to follow more. I just love following film people on YouTube. So leave those channels and I would love to see those. I would love to connect with them. And uh, until then, we'll make another one of these videos soon. And I'll take probably a bunch of you guys' suggestions. We'll put it up on another video and I'll, I'll share even more. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. Do you guys see the fuzzy?